personally, I refer to they or them as a group of people, not just one person. These non-binary people, this non-binary group of people are really just like the common sense is so low, so low. And common sense is free. That's why I don't understand. It's so low. You're mad because someone referred to you as what you are and not what you pretend to be? Man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG right now. You know what I'm saying? It's free. What I'm afraid to do, man, hit the like button. Let's get into it, man. <laughs> I've tried calling friends. Nobody's picking up, so I just am going to dump this here. It's the middle of the day. I completely Right off the rip. I, look, I watched the video, but right off the rip, when I watched it, I was like, damn, bro, she really emotional over being misgendered for what she really is. And not what she honestly pretend to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel bad for calling you a she or saying her and not him or they or whatever you want to be referred to. She want to be referred to as they, them. I'm going to just let y'all watch it. Come on. Here. It's the middle of the day. I completely understand. But I just had a really harrowing experience at work. I have this one coworker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me. I've called her out every time she misgenders me and she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes, like they, they, I use they, them pronouns. They, they, I use they pronouns. Bro, look, <laughs> look, dude, this is what, this is what we're not going to do. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I refer to they or them as a group of people, not just one person. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel stupid. It feels stupid coming out of my mouth to say, hey, they over there. That is not proper English. Okay. And my English teacher would be very highly disappointed if, if she and him, because I had two English teachers when I was in high school, but if she and him, you know what I'm saying, heard me say, oh, they right there, she, they will be highly disappointed. That's not proper English. That's making me sound dumb, and I'm not dumb. These non-binary people, this non-binary group of people are really just like the common sense is so low, so low, and common sense is free. That's why I don't understand. It's so low. You know what I'm saying? You're mad because you was misgendered. First of all, you wasn't misgendered, ma'am, okay? You was called a her, and I'm pretty sure she said her, you know, and I'm pretty sure she didn't say him because I could tell you right now that you are a woman, Based off how emotional you are right now, I could tell you are a woman, okay? You know what I'm saying? That's not me saying man can't be emotional. Man can also be emotional, you know? But I'm saying you are a woman. So by me saying her or she, that's not me disrespecting you. It's just that's what I'm looking at you as. You know what I'm saying? You are a woman who I guess transformed into a man, sort of, kind of. Uh, probably need to do a little bit more work. But, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But one thing I'm not going to do is refer to you as they or them because they or them is referred to a group of people. You know, if you if you were so if you were so mad about the pronouns that people the wrong pronouns that we use towards you or however you want to say it, if you were so mad, you refer to yourself as a they or a them, and I'm pretty sure you won't refer to yourself as they or them. You know, so you can't be mad when somebody else don't refer to you as they or them if you're not referring to yourself as they or them. I'm pretty sure you don't go to people like oh them down which is speaking like i'm pretty sure you don't do that you know what i'm saying but anyways come on and she got so defensive and i just started explaining to her like i'm sick and tired of the shit like you need to at least make an attempt and she popped off got upset got defensive what are you gonna do about it and i just said i'm gonna be really hurt and sad like that's all i can do about it and the worst part is that at that point, my boss, who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe, positive environment for everybody, gangs up on me with her and says like, this is Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. <laughs> and I was upset, rightfully so, but was t trying to take such a level-headed approach to it of like, this is not a political statement. My identity is- I, I just want to put this out here. Um, I feel like this woman uh, who's trying to transform to be a man or is she 
consider herself as non-binary. Uh, I feel like this was a beautiful woman once upon a time. I feel like she was very beautiful. Based off her voice, I could tell she's a very beautiful, I want to say white woman. Uh, I feel like she was very beautiful. And this is the thing I want to say. I feel like a lot of us need to have self-love for ourselves. We like we shouldn't change what God has created. Because honestly, I feel like there's always a purpose and a plan behind the the way you are. You was born a woman for a reason. You know, everything happens for a reason. I was born a man for a reason. You know, a lot of people was dealt with trauma and past things that happened to them for a reason. Maybe that could be a testimony that could tell other people, because I believe when you don't, when you dealt with something in your past, it, it's nothing but just a testimony when you finally find God and you finally can tell that same story that you're dealing with right now to another group of people that's struggling with that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But one thing I want to say was this is that she like she could be she like she was a very beautiful woman, you know, and I feel like she should have had that self-love to keep the gender that she was. Because if you just stay what you was, this wouldn't have this wouldn't even be a big deal. You're really mad over a pronoun because somebody didn't call you they or them. You're really mad over that. Seriously. <laughs> Man, this this world is ridiculous. I mean, we get mad over the simplest things when our president is the worst. We dealing with all these problems in the in America, but you're mad over a pronoun, over a pronoun. It's COVID going around right now. You're mad over a pronoun. I mean, <laughs> bro. Not a political statement. It's just my identity. All I'm asking you to do is respect that. And it really is within our own community <laughs> that people have the most rampant transphobia. I, the co-worker that refuses to use the correct pronouns for me claims to be bisexual and she stands up and goes, when I came out as bisexual, everybody was mad at me. It's like, then why are you mad at the trans kid? Like what? You want to inflict that same pain? But when she was bisexual, she didn't tell nobody to call her they or them. It was always a her still. You know what I'm saying? Even when the lesbian come up and want to be a stud or something, I'm not going to say him. I'm going to say her. They don't find disrespect in that. You're forcing somebody to call you they or them, which sounds completely stupid. It's like so, it's like, it's no common sense in that at all. <laughs> and you're mad about that. So when she was bisexual or whatever, yeah, she came out. Okay. But people still calling her, her, they wasn't saying they are them. <laughs> so that's not even a, you know what I'm saying? That's not even a good comparison. On to me. Why? It's so frustrating because then my boss spins it around as like I'm the one who's making a scene and is being like over emotional or oversensitive. And it's like all I am asking is for you to make an attempt to try and respect my gender identity. And they're both just going at me like this is not the time. We're trying our best. You should be compassionate and understanding. You should just accept it with love and move on. Like, <laughs> It's so frustrating. I literally was shaking so hard. I just got up and left. I came to the beach. I didn't know what else to do. I was so mad. But this is just... You came to the beach? Boy, it is... It is I know that. That's snow that I see. I don't know what y'all see. I, I see snow. Why is you at the beach? At all places, you go to the beach, go home. Cry at home. You crying at the beach? This is so depressing. So hard. It's so hard to be out and be vocal about it. It's so hard to stand up for yourself because either you are a doormat or you're the bitch that like is over emotional and calls everybody out for their transphobia. Now I'm at a loss of what to do with myself. I'm like, I made a scene at work. Like, do I quit? But probably. I need to. But like, holy shit. Be nice to people, folks. <laughs> I've tried calling friends. Nobody's okay. Um, first off, let me say this, dude. Truth be told, you can't be mad when somebody don't refer to you as what you want, what you pretend to be. Okay, you're pretending to be a they or them or a him or whatever you pretend to be. I, I don't know. You can't be mad at that. They are respecting you by saying she. This is that's what says on your birth certificate. When you signed up for the job, I'm pretty sure you put she, not uh not what's it called not him i mean not they or them because it's not even they or them on there you know so and i know that when you sign up uh for like application stuff it say one thing on there <laughs> it's crazy all right so look as i'm editing this video i actually realized that on gen like when you're applying for a job they have so many different options <laughs> wow america is 
Oh, wow. This is crazy. So the options are female, male, trans, male, trans, woman, trans, uh, male, trans, man, uh, gender, non-conforming, or non-binary gender. They actually got non-binary on it. That is ridiculous. I, <laughs> this is crazy. They also got different identity. Please specify. So those are all the options that's on application when you apply so i just wanted to get that out the way uh because i know i did say some that i don't believe they have that on applications but they do okay it, is this confirmed it's on google they have that this is ridiculous anyways finish enjoying the video <laughs> it say this now on application when i first got my first job it did not say this um what do it say it say when not uh when you look at gender it was like would not rather not tell or something like that i don't know it's something like that okay but uh the whole point is you know, I, I don't really feel bad. I don't feel bad about her uh, because she's pretending to be something that she wants people to force. She forcing people to call her what she wants to go as, which is they or them, which don't sound right coming out of our mouths. I'm not going to say, oh, them over there like th they and I'm only speaking about one person. Like that's stupid. It's no common sense in that. No common sense at all. That's poor English. You know what I'm saying? Poor grammar at period. I was told that they or them is referred to a group of people, not just one person. I is referred to one person. She is referred to one person. Her is referred to one person. Him, so, so on. Anyways, man, y'all can tell me what y'all thoughts are on the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.